you speak as if you were a Jedi. I was. A Jedi? The plot thickens. He is a defected apprentice. I've never heard of you. It was a really long time ago. You look about 30. Looks can be deceptive. I mean, since I shaved my mustache, I get ID'd all the time. But you're like 60 and clearly dead. Still look young, though. I'd start swimming if you want to make it to the ship before sundown. Or you could wait for the tide to go out. Go to the Ferraking ship! Maybe she can't swim. Maybe she ate less than 40 minutes ago. No, she's hungry. Which is another reason, to be fair. Hey! Stamping on your foot. Straight out of the handbook. Evil. Red eyes means evil. Oh! Thanks, Anakin. Wait, do you think of the Sith as evil? From your point of view. From my point of view, regular eyes are evil. But I, you know it's something you must exercise. Without training, it fades. And that's what they told you. The Jedi teach there's only one way to access the Force. Wow, cause it's true. No. What? Yoda always said connecting to the Force is like riding a bike. Which, once you learn, can be picked back up again easily. But if you never learned to ride a bike and you tried when you were 40, you got no chance. Your bike riding ability has faded. You can. It's gotta get angry. Yoda was full of nonsensical analogies. Don't try and make sense of it. Our powerful emotions. Anger. Fear. Well, those are just the surface level emotions. I'd say the most powerful niche emotions are hungry, sleepy, snacky, huh? and hatey. You killed Jackie. You would have had the same relationship with her that you have with your master. One side. Yeah, you go through that stuff as a Padawan, but then you become the master. And you get all the good stuff. Bossing someone around, being rude to whoever you want, you know, just feeling big. Oh. Right. Sorry, Anakin. Yeah. Once you get that corner office, life really is sweet. I'm not my sister. I'm not that easily corrupted. She corrupted easier than a non-ejected USB stick. Do it. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. A Jedi doesn't attack the unarmed. Why do you still think of yourself as a Jedi? They didn't want you. I mean, there's no stakes. We'll just survive. Oh, wait. Yeah. I forgot the stakes now. If you think I am capable of killing Jackie, then go ahead. Put a lightsaber in my belly. Huh. Walter White. No Breaking Bad? It's like with the guns, isn't it? The Jedi saw it, and that's why they threw you away. They didn't throw me away. Then the why? fairest thing to do, was it? You know, steal her away from her home world, parents dead, sister presumed dead, say you can be a Jedi, and then just turn around and go, oh, you didn't make the cut. Well, see ya. Do it, do it, do it. But when you lose everything, that's when you're finally free. Like he's really warped the Buddhist teachings here. When you have lost everything, you are free to be selfish and murder people. You get nauseous when you travel through hyperspace? Hey, it's like you, my old master. No, I just hate flying, full stop. You what? Flying? Ah. <sighs> I'm not a fan of flying. Whenever we hyperspace jumped in the Clone Wars, we'd have to eject at least two escape pods full of bags of Obi-Wan sick. I'm sure that these casualties are due to the planet's uncharted environment. You Why don't... is Mark really pushing these baseless assumptions? Listen, all right, I know there's been a mass homicide, but I just want to chalk this one up to the plans. Without investigation. We need resources for the real crimes. Like who smashed Yoda's mug? Had to restart the system. Osha, oh, sure. why did it take you three hours to solve a problem that any mechanic worth their salt would have taken two minutes over? Is everything solved by turning it on and off again? How could I not have sensed that villain's true intentions? Villain? I'm going to start referring to people as villains. Talk to him. Love him. Even though he's just a machine. I'm concerned about you. 
and your AI boyfriend. I'm sorry if you felt that way. That's the most corporate non-apology I've ever heard. Well, that is the Jedi way. So. My name is... Basil, what did you say to him? This doesn't make sense, Basil. Her hair is short. Osha is the short-haired one. Explain that to me. No, I mean, where would she have got the hair cutting implements? It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. What? How does he know where to go? Basil can probably smell Osha through hyperspace. Good news, everyone! I have a smellerscope! <laughs> Seems an umber moth colony hatched last night and wreaked havoc on a local settlement. If the Jedi had been anywhere near that colony, that could explain a large amount of casualties. Bugs! I'm telling you, homicidal bugs. Now can we go to the pub? It could. Listen, all right, I'm the king of chalking one up to bugs. Even I think this is suspicious. Oh, luxury cave. The power of two. The power of many. <laughs> So it's all Sith philosophy drawn from the witches. I've known two Sith, and I've never heard them mention the thread. How did that get there? Do you really need to hike up your shirt to solder your helmet? Oh, my lower back is sweaty. Where'd you get that scar? Oh, that scar? Why are you looking at me? How do you think I got it? Looks like someone stabbed you in the back. Someone who threw me away. Your Jedi Master? Jedi Master? Whip scar? So his Jedi Master had some kind of whip? Oh, doesn't make sense. Have you ever seen a Jedi utilize a whip? Not to my knowledge. Yeah, but this is the olden days, Obi-Wan. 